All right, so I'm going to start off this design by placing a photo on my workspace. I've got a nice sandy beach. I'm going to set this as my background like this. I'm now going to place a, a flipping page on my workspace like this. I'm just going to position it so that it takes up um, the whole page. I'm just going to make this smaller so that I can extend it all the way like that. And I'm now going to go um, and use an app uh, to create frames. So I'll come into my apps and I'm going to search for frames. This is the app that I'm going to use. It's called Trace to Frame. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on the purple button to start tracing. And I'm don't want to preview with solid fill because that's uh, I want to be able to see where I can put my, my points on my workspace. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to start placing um, dots on my workspace so that it's going to create um, the frame that I need for this design. And I'll just keep going like that. Okay, and that, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna say add to my design and that's gonna create and add this frame. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit larger like so, just so that I can kind of place it right on top like that. I'm just gonna make that a little bit larger like that. I think that's okay. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And we're now gonna go back to our elements and we're gonna search or place another image on our workspace. This is the image I want to place on my workspace. It's just an image of mountains, but you'll notice that um, I've got this space over here. So what can we do? Well, I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna grab another frame. This is the frame I'm gonna add. Now, if you're using a smaller workspace, then you might not have to do this, but because I am using uh, a uh, workspace that is wide, uh, my page flip isn't gonna cover that area. So I have to add this frame here. So I'm gonna make a duplicate and I'm gonna place one inside of that smaller frame and then one inside of the frame that's going to go behind my page flip. I'm going to double click on this first one here and I'm going to move it all the way over so that it covers the whole page like that or at least this side. Now I'll double click on that second image and I'm going to move this over all the way to the edge like that. And then I'm going to make this bigger so that I can layer it right on top of the first image like that. So now it's kind of a continuous image all the way through. There's only one thing left for us to do, and that's to bring that page flip in front so that it looks like a page is flipping. So I'm going to click anywhere on my workspace. I'm going to go to position. I'm going to go to layers. I'm going to grab that page right here and I'm going to bring it all the way to the top. So now it looks like my page is flipping. I've got a nice sunny beach underneath it and then I've got the mountains in behind that page flip. And that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something from this. If you did, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. If there's anything else that you want to see, just put it in the comments and I'll add it to my list of tutorials to create just for you. For now, my friends, I'll say bye-bye. Until next time.